as construction crews work to begin the dredging process on the Savannah Harbor's expansion project, Middle Georgia is preparing for what economic leaders think will be a game changer for businesses in the region. 41 NBC's Skylar Henry got a tour of the Savannah port and found out how a few feet will make a million dollar difference. It's early. And at this hour, hundreds of port personnel have already worked around the clock. Crane operators, truck drivers, and everything in between cover the acres available for the thousands of containers the port sees each week. There's no port growing faster than the Georgia Ports Authority today. Griff Lynch, the chief operating officer of the Georgia Ports Authority, anticipates even more traffic coming to the state's shores, and he's ready. Savannah has been the only port to really absorb that increase in volume without melting down and, and having a negative impact on our customers. And we take great pride in that. After a multi-million dollar investment from both the state and federal government, the Savannah Harbor expansion project is taking shape. The effects are being felt all across the Peach State, as companies strategically place themselves along interstates to have better access to the port, even in middle Georgia. This is going to have a tremendous impact on this region. Pat Topping with Macon's Economic Development Commission says he's meeting with multinational business leaders on where and when they'd like to put warehouses and distribution centers throughout the area. And that will give us a, a great opportunity to pull these uh, containers coming out of Savannah off of 16 into some, as we call it, a multimodal logistics hub. Multimodal, a word meaning the region would turn into a vessel for all transportation land, air, and sea. Middle Georgia has always been a great export location. Forest products and kaolin clay. Uh, now what we've seen over the last few years is the import side develop. Leaders, including State Representative James Beverly, say a prepared Middle Georgia is necessary to keep up with the estimated 10,000 truck lifts or loading and unloading of cargo out of the port each day. I think we have to start reimagining ourselves as a regional player. I mean, you got the wishbone right here, 1675. We got to stop wishing that something will happen and start developing it so that we become the backbone of middle Georgia and regional transportation development. We can do it right here. We got to do it now. Standing up on one of these cranes, you can see the acres of cargo here at the Garden City Terminal at the Port of Savannah. The Port Widening Project will help bring even more cargo into the port. So here's what's happening. Crews are dredging, or removing dirt and sediment at the bottom of the river, increasing the river's depth from 42 feet to 47 feet in the inner harbor and 49 feet in the outer harbor. A deeper river means bigger, wider ships can get through. Bigger ships mean more cargo. It handles a lot of containers. It cannot fit through the Panama Canal, and it requires much greater depth because of the size of the ship. The cost of the whole project comes with a price tag of about $700 million. The state is putting up $266 million. The federal government is expected to pay the rest of the bill. There's no other facility that can replicate this, especially on the East Coast. The Georgia Department of Transportation has been preparing for the move as well, rehabbing roadways near the port for the past five to six years. Topping predicts in the near future, the business and commerce landscape will be drastically different for middle Georgia. An updated uh, 21st century transportation hub that allows the flow of goods into this community and out of this community in, a, in an orderly fashion. Until then, preparation is key as the state gets ready for a new experience. In Savannah, Skyler Henry, 41 NBC News. There are nearly 15,000 Middle Georgia jobs tied to the Port of Savannah. According to GAPorts.com, more than 7,000 of those jobs are tied to Bibb County. More than 3,500 are in Houston County, and a little more than 1,000 jobs are in Baldwin County. Experts think with the port widening, those numbers may increase.